Ghost of Tabor, a hit VR game that's been taking up vast majority of my content and game time. Stop it. Get some help. Between extremely strange and wacky encounters. Here, an AK Alpha for you, bro. Come on, be, be chill. Fist bump. Oh. To moments I can feel my hairline receding from the sheer sweat of gunfights. Dude, this is exactly why I put deodorant on my balls right there. No ball sweat. It's a loot, shoot, and try not to die, choose your own adventure. Oh, that guy. But despite the hardcore nature of this game, there's plenty you can do to make your time at Tabor that much easier and efficient. And all this brought to you by today's sponsor, Beyond Frames, the publisher of Ghosts of Tabor. Thank you to Beyond Frames for the opportunity to be sponsored. Be sure to check out Ghosts of Tabor on the Quest or Steam store. Your safe house can either be a thing of nightmares or your best friend, depending on how you run it. Being well organized is not only going to save you from headache of having to locate a single attachment, but will also mean you spend more time in raid and less time in safe house. A very simple and effective way to cut down on time is to make pre-kits with essential items. Keep in mind the kiosk is weight based, not item based, so you can actually keep quite a few pre-kits stashed before you actually start incurring fees. Speaking of weight, it's important to pay attention to how much you have on you and what your current weight is. Being too heavy means you will not be able to sprint as fast, as well as you'll run out of stamina faster. You can regain stamina by crouching or walking with your gun up. However, get too heavy and you will have to rely on stamina products or completely stand still, as slower crouch walking will no longer allow you to regain stamina. One good tip is sometimes it's better to leave loot behind so you can regain stamina then double back for it after you get done looting around. You might notice loading up that many of the rooms in your safe house are locked, and unlocking them requires you to raise your player level. Raising your level is accomplished by dropping enemy NPCs and players in raid, as well as taking loot out of raid. Not all loot is worth the same for player XP though. This is why using things like key cards to access high value loot not only equips you with some of the best loot in the game fast, it will also net a ton of XP. But keep in mind this is Tabor and many will be trying to take advantage if you're not careful. Knowing the map is crucial to finding the best loot, as well as helping improve your odds for survival. There's actually a Ghost of Zabor wiki, with interactive maps showing where certain items have a chance to spawn. Having this info on hand will definitely help improve your odds of bringing high value loot out, since you'll know where to look. But keep in mind high value items can still spawn in other areas, so it's best to find a balance between checking the high value spots, as well as checking in between. Train raids are a newbie's bread and butter. They will help you greatly in familiarizing yourself with each of the maps in a low stakes environment. Each time you go into a training raid, everything you bring in will come back out regardless of if you exfil, die, or even abandon the raid. However, anything found in a training raid doesn't come back out with you once completed. Having the best gear and map knowledge will only get you so far, and you will end up in gunfights against enemy players and AI. You won't stand a chance if you can't hit anything. Ghost of Tabor has bullet drop and travel time, meaning you'll need to be able to adjust your aim and lead time depending on what gun you're using. By crafting tracer rounds, you can actually get a visual aid to help you see where your rounds are going. Just keep in mind, tracers do less damage than full metal jacket or armor piercing rounds and can give away your position. I only recommend using them in training raids to get a feel for new guns. You not only can kill NPCs with only your bare hands, but crouching and staying out of their line of sight will allow you to sneak up on them undetected. Silently dispatching NPCs is a great way not to alert enemy players to your location, but be careful, as soon as you're spotted, even basic NPCs can peel off a good chunk of your health. Hey, ah! It's important to note that you cannot snap a raid boss's neck, and they will drop you fast regardless of how good your armor is. It's best to use cover and peck off raid bosses with headshots. Full Metal Jacket will do the job, but armor piercing rounds are recommended to farm raid bosses. Scopes can be slightly difficult to use without enabling a few settings. You're going to want to go into your menu and enable Virtual Gunstock. This will lock the butt of the rifle into your shoulder to help simulate using a VR gunstock. You will lose a bit of maneuverability with the gun, so I don't recommend it for close quarters, but for scoped optics it will greatly help with your accuracy. Motion smoothing should be enabled by default, but if not, I recommend enabling it. Big shame to get shot with my first key card of whap. And it's kinda late to polish this off, I guess, and uh Yep. That's popper. Alright. Pop! Oh, uh pepper sauce. No pepper sauce. I guess it's a fresh wipe, might as well grab it. It's all XP, 
It's all XP. XP, XP. Also XP, even though I don't like this site. XP. Doesn't really matter. Just put this left on there so it's not taking up uh, our space. XP's. Yeah, basically, like, you grab everything. It's, uh, like, everything and everything. Also, eat your food and raid, too, because that gives you XP. It's just, like, early wipe like this. It's, you know, get the XP's. Looting is also a good way to get XP's. Lots of the xps -els. Yeah, I don't care about that. But we will grab this. Or not. Uh, yeah, let's grab, grab it, Scar Mac. Silenced, let's go. Now I can finally be quiet. And that's an ASL. Hell yeah, look at that. We haven't even opened the vault yet. We already got a halfway decent gun and a silencer. Hell yeah. Alright. Well, I got some other truth here. Let's see what, uh, well, I guess cheese. We got cheese? No cheese. Another candy bar or muesli bar. Yay. Truth. All right, drum roll, please. Let's get a bogo on the keycard. Bogo, bogo, bogo. Yeah, bogos where you like you use a keycard and you get another keycard. This is why I love House of Scott. Is like the odds of bogos is great on House of Scott. Yeah, honestly, I'm probably gonna use all my keycards. Like start. It's it's so worth it. You just gotta rotate. You want to get Skull to go hit House of Scott, and then you go to Island to go get keycard for House of Scott. And then once you get that going, it's it's literally, it's just like an infinite keycard glitch. It's like the odds are so great. I don't know why though. I'm not having great odds so far, but that's okay. Got plenty of crates to check. Ain't nothing. Uh, spoon for XP. XP is important. Can't sell this for nothing, but XP is worth it. Ooh, money we just got to top tier of VG's baby. Oh, we're going to Night Island. Oh hell yeah. That's that's no ice. Get in. Come on. Come on. Think thin. A little thin there somewhere. Uh come on, come on. Uh think I'm a Tetris Pro, eh? And come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's go. There we go. Nice. Definitely flipping that out. Heck yeah. Upgrades. Very nice. Alright, we're all chunky boy in it. We got some more grips. Got a crypto wallet. Heck yeah. Some more shot shoes. Very nice. Nice. Good optic. I don't use it, but it's worth good XP, so we'll bring it out raid. All XP, 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 ooh, ooh, money, 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 we did it, money, look at that, look at that, look at that, money, oh, we got the bogos, we got the bogos, we got the bogos, I got the bogos, ah, uh, already off to a great start this wipe, look at that, oh, look at it, oh, look at all the stuff, all the XPs, yes sir, another Rifle suppress. Oof, this is gonna be a good one already. I can already tell. Let's go. Very nice. 